our brain matter is stuck at a phase transition. And this phase transition is what I was talking about with colloidal fluids and liquid crystal state. The brain is in a perfectly balanced state that keeps it from transitioning to a gas or a liquid, says a new research. It's this delicate balanced state that is required for quantum consciousness to activate and connect with the universe as a whole. It's why the brain is so surprisingly gelatinous. When I did human dissection, we dis dissected the human brain, and I held that brain in my hand. It did not feel like this rubber brain, which is pretty solid. It's slightly squeezable, but the real brain is like a bowl of stiff jello. It's remarkably squishy and gelatinous in a way that kind of sort of blows your mind. Now we're beginning to understand why. It requires itself to be in this quasi state that's not quite solid and not quite liquid and that's the required state it has to be in to be right on the razor's edge between a colloidal fluid and a liquid crystal. So many of these things have become um, much more clear as time has gone on. Consciousness and liquid crystals. Consciousness is probably related to the liquid crystalline physical state of animal brain. In this scheme of things, consciousness is an emergent property of the liquid crystal, which needs to, to be no more mysterious than the wateriness of water or the color associated with the wavelength. Now, I think that they have an incorrect conclusion there because there's still of the mind that consciousness arises out of physical processes, and I don't agree with that, and neither does the most ancient texts on the planet, and neither do many of the scientists in the world, uh, that consciousness is not an emergent property out of physical processes, but physical processes are an emergent property of consciousness itself in the infinite field, that this comes from consciousness and not the other way around. The process is so intimately intertwined in a yin-yang that it's a chicken or an egg thing. But from the ancient texts, consciousness is first, and this manifestation comes from consciousness. Quantum physics tends to agree with that. The human brain's complexity verges on the brink of chaos, but it's held in check right on that balanced razor edge borderline. 